You guys keep saying, Tom, show us what shoes you're wearing. Show us what shoes you're wearing. Well, I only brought one pair of shoes with me on our trip to New York, but since you guys are asking for it, I will show you anyway. Today I'm wearing these beat up, creased, very, very dirty. I probably need to give them a clean 2018 Jordan 1 Shadows. with another video, another day in New York in this hotel that we weren't even supposed to be in. Oh my goodness, trying to check into our hotel yesterday was a nightmare. So we get into New York five hours after we're supposed to. We're supposed to get here four in the afternoon. We get here at nine. We get to the hotel at 9, 20, 9, 30, and I give them my ID and my credit card to check us in. And they're like, oh, sorry, we don't have your reservation. Who'd you make this with? And I tell them the website that I made the reservation with and they can't find it at all. And the hotel has no rooms. So they're like, okay, we're gonna put you in this hotel across the street, except the hotel across the street has the worst Wi-Fi of all time and is right next to a construction site. Not the best way to start a week in New York. Needless to say, I will be complaining to the hotel. Cause like, come on, how, how do you not have my booking? Thankfully, there's an open hotel across the street, I guess. Not the best start to New York, but today we have an awesome day plan. Today we are in Union Square and we're here to meet up with Seth. Seth is in the city, he's been living in Philly for the past couple of months and he's in the city today. I don't know why, but we're meeting up with him. I don't know what we're doing. I think he's gonna be here any minute. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen Seth in like three hours. months. I miss my train. I kind of miss the guy. Yo, what's, what's up, up? Seth? How you what's doing? Going? It's good to see you. Long, Long time on. no see. How you doing, sir? Good man, chilling. I haven't seen Seth since like April. Is it really that long? Yeah, what? it's been April. That's crazy. That's insane. Ben, what are you doing? Is that Seth Fowler? Yes. are in sneakers and stuff in Chelsea or is this like is this the meatpacking district? Meat district okay yeah. this is meatpacking district I got it wrong a couple videos what's and the meat shit for it so that was awesome what's the difference between the meatpacking district and Chelsea besides geographical location yeah. it's probably only geographical it's location just, yeah. they actually have some dope stuff here I really like these um, I'm not sure what these are called I think there's some old flight Pippin things it's really cool color, white, orange, black. Reminds me of the Shattered Backboard colorway. 150 bucks, uh, not super cheap. They also have a black and white one. I dig these super high top, super bulky 90s basketball shoes. Really, really like wearing them, especially in the winter. I mean, I'm not gonna pick these up, but they're pretty cool. These right here, I've never seen these in person, the young ones. I tried to scoop these up on release day and they sold out at Livestock, uh, especially this one. I really, really like this one, but they didn't have them. And I guess they restocked. Seth, did they restock? I don't think so. He doesn't think they restock, so I guess they're just sitting here. Sneakers and stuff is random stuff. If you guys are looking for like stuff for retail weeks after release, sneakers and stuff is the best place to hit up in Manhattan just because it's a little bit out of the way and things tend to sit for a little bit. I don't really think there's anything worth picking up in here. I mean, they have lots and lots of cool stuff, but nothing that I'm going to scoop up today. Seth, you buying anything? Like, buying those? I was thinking about it, but I don't I, think I do like those. I like them a lot. Seth and no one buys shoes for views, by the way. Unfortunately. No, it's but but a lot of the shoes like this, really, I don't really like really the gold, cocoa, like whatever things. Uh, if they do, then I'll grab it. If not, then it's like, if I don't want it, you don't really like need to see it. Ronnie Pei, how to talk to you. Really, really, really nice as well. I dig these. I love cool. that. Bye, Seth. See you later. I'll miss you. Seth's going on a podcast. Have fun on the podcast. See you later. I'm gonna miss that guy. All right, so now that Seth is gone, I think we're gonna hit up Soho and do some sneaker shopping because there's a few spots I wanna check out. Might check out Sneaker Flea, which we're actually walking past right now. Hopefully my buddy Joe is in there. And then there's a pair of shoes I wanna pick up at Stadium Goods as well. And I sort of wanna see like 
what can you get for a grand of stadium goods? I have a thousand dollars, I brought some spending money over here, and I was like, let's see what we can freaking pick up at stadium goods for that amount of money. I don't know if I, I might go a little bit over, I might go a little bit under, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna pick up, but I wanna see what there is, see what we have. Ben hasn't been to stadium goods, so we're gonna check it out, and uh, I mean, hopefully I can pick up something good. Okay, I think we can all agree that these are the most ugly shoes in this store, the Don C, whatever these are called, Legacy 312 or some crap. I don't know what these are, these are terrible though. And they have the ghost green ones as well. Such an ugly, I don't get why these are so hyped up. It's such a weird pair of shoes. Like just really not attractive. I don't get why these sold out. I mean, people are just trying to resell them. They're just weird. So the problem with trying to find a pair of sneakers that's a thousand dollars here, is that everything is ridiculously overpriced. Something that should be $500 is $900. What are those? What the heck? Why are the Rockefeller Air Force Ones $10,000? Is that friends and family? Oh, because they have a clear sole. Seems worth it. There is actually one shoe that I wanted to pick up here and I just checked, they have my size, it's a good price, and it's something I've wanted for a while. So I think I'm gonna scoop them up. They're only like $10 more expensive than StockX, which for me is a good deal because if I order from StockX, I have to pay the Canadian border charges, which gets a little bit ridiculous. So I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on them. Update, the pair of shoes that was here for like $10 more than the StockX price isn't actually here, it's at their warehouse, which isn't here. Stadium Goods is a huge ripoff for the prices, but I mean, it's unfortunate. I really wanted to pick them up, but I'm not picking them up. They're like $420 here when they were $230 online, so eh, not really worth it. The prices here are absolutely ridiculous, especially in store. They don't put the prices on the shoes anymore, so you have to like ask how much they are. Sucks. So moral of that story is StockX prices are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, Stadium Goods prices are absolutely ridiculous. Ben, moral of that story, Stadium Good prices are absolutely... What are you, what are you doing? I was feeling the music, you know? That really peeved me off about Stadium Goods, and I apologize, they are jackhammering out there still. They have been at it for the past two days straight. Oh my goodness, that that is so annoying about Stadium Goods. It's like it's 2018, and they found this loophole of laziness, really, where they're like, oh, we're not going to have our prices for the store on the website. We're going we're gonna to have our website prices on the store, and we're not going to have our store prices on the website. And it's so confusing, like you look on Flight Club store and it tells you these are in New York, these are in LA, these are available online only and it's really, really easy. You go to any store's website and it's like available in store, available online only, available at this location, except for Stadium Goods, it doesn't say anything. So you see it and you're like, wow, this is a sick price, I'm gonna walk in there, I'm gonna buy it. Then like, actually it's literally $300 more expensive than what you're going to buy. The answer to the question that I was asking, what can $1,000 buy you there, is really not that much because everything is so so ridiculously expensive. It's like off-whites that should go for 700 are going for 1200 and I get it, it's New York, it's consignment. What just annoys me is that they're like false advertising to get you in the store. It's like $230 online, yeah, it's, it's actually $420 in store. $300 online, it, it's, it's actually $600 in store. So as a result, I didn't end up picking anything up from there because it's like I'm not gonna freaking spend $420 on something that is supposed to be $230 when I could just order that online. Like, I think that's what I'm probably going to do. I wanted to get the homage to home Jordan 1s because I think those are really, really nice and I love those. And I also wanted to pick up the Zoom Fly or Vapor Fly Off-White 1 or Off-White running shoes. Those are the ones that I wanted to get, the Nike Zoom Fly orange ones, the Off-White ones. And I wanted to get the homage to home Jordan 1s and that was supposed to be the two pairs of shoes that I was gonna pick up today. And it was like, oh, sorry, those aren't actually $300 and $230. Those are $600 and $420. And that really pissed me off because it's like, they were pretty decent prices. It, like, as far as how cheap you can get them in Canada, great deal. Way cheaper than you can get them in Canada. And then all of a sudden it was, oh, no, they're actually ridiculously priced and I'm not going to buy them, which sucked. 
I feel like crap though. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I did not sleep well because of the construction and the air conditioner is now broken in this apartment, a hotel room, whatever you want to call it. And I just needed to come back here and take a little bit of a break, which sucks because I wanted to buy that pair of sneakers a lot, but I'm not actually gonna end up buying that pair of sneakers. And now I'm just in a bit of a bad mood, but I'm gonna keep it positive, guys. I wanna hear some positive comments down in the comment section below. If you're still watching at this point of the video, make sure to comment potato salad and then leave a positive comment down below. Let me know what you wanna see from me in New York for the rest of the week. I'm really open to hearing what you guys wanna see. I have a few things planned that I'm gonna be doing. And if you guys would like to see anything, I'm more than happy to freaking show you guys because I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Really, really do appreciate every single one of you. All you guys that are part of the real fam, make sure you go give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter. I'll leave the links to those down in the description as well. But that being said, I love you guys and I will see you very, 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 very soon.